Hello everyone. This is Dr. Sarita, Professor of Chemistry working in Sandwich Department of St. Peter's Engineering College. Myself, I am teaching Engineering Chemistry for this semester. Uh, so in the Engineering Chemistry, we have started one of the chapter that is Corrosion. And in our previous classes of the corrosion, we have discussed about the different types of corrosions that is dry corrosion or chemical corrosion and the other type of corrosion which is known as the wet or electrochemical corrosion. So the wet or electrochemical corrosion will take place when a single metal or when two different metals, both of them when they are completely or partially dipped in an electrolytic solution. So, in presence of liquid medium, generally this type of corrosion will take place. Wet or electrochemical corrosion will take place in presence of a liquid medium. So, in presence of liquid medium, some part of the metal will act as the anodic part where the anodic reactions will take place. The metal will undergo oxidation to form the metal ions and along with that it will produce the electrons and some part of the metal will act as the cathodic part. So the electrons which are produced at the anodic part will migrate through the metal towards the cathodic part and at the cathodic part in presence of atmospheric oxygen the non-metallic ions are formed. Now, after formation of metallic ions at the anode and non-metallic ions at the cathode, both of them will migrate towards each other in presence of the liquid medium which is acting as the conducting medium. Both the metal and non-metal ions will move towards each other and they will form the corrosion product in between the anodic and cathodic part. So, always in the wet or electrochemical corrosion, we have to remember one point that is <coughs> the corrosion will take place at the anodic part because there the metal is dissoluting. Some part of the metal is converting to its derivative. So, there at anodic part corrosion is taking place and at the cathodic part the metal will be protected from the corrosion because there the metal is not dissoluting. There non-metallic ions are formed in presence of atmospheric oxygen and moisture and after formation of this metallic and non-metallic ions both of them will migrate towards each other to combine and forms the corrosion product in between anode and cathode. So corrosion takes place at anode and the corrosion product will be formed in between the anode and cathode. So that is about the mechanism of wet or electrochemical corrosion and it will take place in maybe by the evolution of hydrogen type of mechanism or by the absorption of oxygen type of mechanism. In the previous class we have discussed about the evolution of hydrogen type of mechanism for the rusting of iron which will take place when iron metal is exposed to the acidic solution. In presence of acidic solution at anodic part the iron metal is undergoing oxidation to form the Fe plus 2 ions and at the cathodic part we have the hydrogen ions of the acidic solution liquid medium or electrolytic solution and that hydrogen ions will undergo reduction to form the hydrogen gas. So hydrogen gas is evolved at the cathodic part during the rusting of iron that mechanism is known as evolution of hydrogen type of mechanism and which will takes place in presence of acidic solution. If the metal is exposed to acidic solution, then the metal will undergo evolution of hydrogen type of mechanism. Now the other type of mechanism which we are going to discuss under the wet or electrochemical corrosion is absorption of oxygen. Absorption of oxygen type of mechanism. 
so this type of mechanism will takes place when the metal is exposed to when the metal surface is exposed to alkaline alkaline or neutral solutions neutral medium or neutral solutions when the metal surface is exposed to alkaline or neutral medium under that conditions the metal will undergo a wet or electrochemical corrosion through the absorption of oxygen type of mechanism for example the by taking the same rusting of iron rusting of iron in presence of sodium chloride so it is a neutral medium generally always the metal surface iron metal surface if it is the iron metal the iron metal surface always it will be covered with a layer of iron oxide this is the iron oxide layer iron oxide layer and which is acting as a protective layer this iron oxide layer is acting as a protective layer over the metal surface iron metal surface so this is the iron metal ox iron oxide layer which is acting as a protective layer and if it is unbroken and continuous then there won't be any kind of electrochemical cell formation on the surface of metal on the surface of iron but by any chance if there is any cracks are formed on the iron oxide layer any cracks are formed on the iron oxide layer like this and these cracks may be formed because of the cut edges cut edges of the iron metal or because of dragging the overload on the iron metal or maybe sometimes by the attack of chemicals also that iron oxide layer may broke means may be damaged so the iron oxide layer wherever it will have some cracks on it this small portion will act as the anodic part this part will act as the anodic part whereas the remaining part of the iron metal surface which is properly covered and protected by the iron oxide layer this part properly covered and protected by the iron oxide layer it will act as the cathodic part it will act as cathodic part and here also it will act as the cathodic part so if there is any cracks are formed on the protective layer of iron oxide that small portion that narrow part will act as the anodic part whereas the remaining part of the iron metal surface which is properly covered or protected with the iron oxide layer that will act as the cathodic part now how the electrochemical cells are formed at the anodic part oxidation reaction will takes place that is iron it will undergoes oxidation to form fe plus 2 plus 2 electrons so this total is a liquid medium and this type of corrosion will takes place in presence of alkaline medium or neutral medium this is the neutral solution or neutral medium now at the anodic part the oxidation of iron will takes place the electrons will move through the metal from anodic part to the cathodic part the electrons will move through the metal here the iron metal is acting as a conductor so it 
it will allow the flow of electrons from anodic part to the cathodic part. So the first reaction is at anodic part where iron metal is undergoing oxidation and the produced electrons will move through the metal from anode to cathode. At the cathodic part the atmospheric oxygen will combine with the moisture and also gains the two electrons which are produced at the anode and it will form two OH minus ions. Hydroxide ions are formed and here also at this cathodic part also same cathodic reaction will take place half O2 plus H2O plus two electrons gives rise to two OH minus. Now in the solution we will have the OH minus ions as well as Fe plus 2 ions. Both of them will migrate this Fe plus 2 ions will migrate towards this cathodic part and this OH minus ions will migrate towards the anodic part and here also Fe plus 2 will migrate towards the cathodic and OH minus ion will migrate towards the cathodic part. Both of them will migrate towards opposite to each other towards each other and then at some place in between the anode and cathode both of them will combine to form the ferrous hydroxide. So now first part is the combination of Fe plus 2 and OH minus ions which will lead to the formation of ferrous hydroxide. So up to this, the iron metal surface when it is exposed to the neutral medium or alkaline medium, it will undergo absorption of oxygen type of mechanism for the electrochemical corrosion. Now the part of the metal oxide layer or iron oxide layer, the iron oxide layer will be acting as a protective layer. And if by chance any cracks are formed on the iron oxide layer, that part will act as the anodic part. This small portion will act as the anodic part where the anodic reactions will take place. And the remaining part of the iron metal which is properly covered with the protective layer that will act as the cathodic part. And the electrons will move from anodic part to cathodic part at the cathodic part the atmospheric oxygen will absorb the moisture and convert to hydroxide ions now after the formation of hydroxide ions the metallic ions and non metallic ions fe plus 2 and oh minus ions will migrate towards each other move towards each other through the liquid medium where it is acting as a electrolytic solution and in between the anode and cathode they will combine to form the ferrous hydroxide. So now we will write the reactions in detail. At anodic part, at the anode, Fe plus 2 gives rise to, sorry, Fe gives rise to Fe plus 2 plus 2 electrons. This is the oxidation reaction. This is the oxidation reaction where electrons move through metal through the metal from anodic part part. At the cathodic part, at cathode, the atmospheric oxygen will combine with the moisture and undergoes reduction to form two OH minus ions. This is the a reduction reaction which is taking place reduction reaction which is taking place at the cathode now the metal
metallic and non metallic ions that is oh minus and fe plus 2 ions move towards each other to form metal hydroxide that is ferrous hydroxide Fe plus 2 plus 2 OH minus gives rise to Fe OH taken twice. This is ferrous hydroxide. Ferrous hydroxide. <coughs> After formation of ferrous hydroxide, if the environment is having or if the surrounding environment is having sufficient amount of oxygen again this ferrous hydroxide will undergo oxidation to form the ferric hydroxide FeOH taken twice ferrous hydroxide will undergo oxidation further to form ferric hydroxide to form ferric hydroxide and this ferric hydroxide is nothing but the hydrated ferric oxide Fe2O3 3H2O and this is the formula of rust the ferrous hydroxide in presence of sufficient amount of oxygen and atmospheric uh, sufficient amount of oxygen and and atmospheric moisture will undergo oxidation to form the ferric hydroxide. This is ferric hydroxide and that is nothing but the hydrated ferric oxide Fe2O3 3H2O that is the formula of rust. So this will take place when the oxygen when the Sufficient amount of oxygen is present in the surrounding environment. And if sufficient amount of oxygen is absent, if there is no more oxygen or when less amount of oxygen is present in the environment, then a black color rust will be formed, which is known as, the black color rust which is formed is known as Fe3O46H2O and it is known as magnetite which is known as magnetite. So when the ferrous hydroxide, after formation of ferrous hydroxide, if sufficient amount of oxygen is present in the surrounding environment, then it will lead to the formation of ferric hydroxide, which is known as the rust. And if sufficient amount of oxygen is not there in the surrounding environment, then a black color rust is formed, which is known as the magnetite. And the formula of magnetite is Fe3O4, 6, H2O. So, this is the mechanism of absorption of oxygen type of mechanism. So, absorption of oxygen type of wet corrosion or electrochemical corrosion will take place when the iron metal surface is exposed to the alkaline medium or neutral medium. For example, iron when it is exposed to the sodium chloride solution, it will undergo absorption of oxygen type of mechanism. So, always Iron surface, metal surface will be properly covered with the metal oxide layer. So then it will act as a perfect protective layer. And by any chance, if there is a crack between the, on the surface of iron metal or on the metal oxide layer, that small portion where the metal, iron metal is directly exposed without the metal oxide layer, that part will act as the anodic part and the remaining part of the metal surface which is properly covered with the metal oxide layer will act as the cathodic part and at the anodic part the iron will dissolute into the solution because always at the anodic part oxidation reaction will take place iron will dissolute into the solution
solution in the form of Fe plus 2 and 2 H plus. So, this is the oxidation reaction. This electrons will move through the metal from anodic part to the cathodic part. So, at the cathodic part, the atmospheric oxygen will absorb the moisture of the liquid medium and also gains the two electrons to form the non-metallic ions like two OH minus ions. After formation of metallic and non-metallic ions at cathode and anode, both of them will migrate towards each other, move towards each other through the liquid medium. This liquid medium is acting as a conducting medium for the flow of ions. So, because it is acting as an electrolytic solution, it will, it will allow the flow of ions. The two ions will move towards each other through the electrolytic solution. And in between the anode and cathode, the iron ions, ferrous ions will combine with the hydroxide ion to form the ferrous hydroxide if you OH take it twice. So, after formation of ferrous hydroxide, if the environment is having sufficient amount of oxygen, then it will form ferric hydroxide, which is nothing but the hydrated ferric oxide known as the rust. So, rust is formed in between the cathode and anode. And if the sufficient amount of oxygen is not there in the liquid medium, then a black color rust is formed, which is known as the magnetite. So, this is about the wet or electrochemical corrosion which will take place when a metal surface is exposed to the liquid medium or when two different metals combinedly when they are partially or completely dipped in a liquid medium then such kind of reaction corrosion reaction will take place which is known as the wet or electrochemical corrosion. So, in the wet or electrochemical corrosion, we have discussed about the two mechanisms, evolution of hydrogen type of mechanism and absorption of oxygen type of mechanism. And the remaining type of wet corrosions, that is we have galvanic corrosion, water line corrosion and pitting corrosion that we will discuss in the next class. Thank you.